enjoyed the flammable conclusion to the previous video, you're going to like this one too. I'm going to be machining the crankshaft for the Stuart 10V and it's fabricated out of these two pieces. Now the majority of this is fairly simple turning, it's just diameters and drilling, um, but the exciting thing comes when I try for the very first time to silver solder with the soldering torch which seems to burst into flame at any given moment. So I'm going to get onto that. As an aside, I did actually purchase a different uh, canister of gas, but this one's got a threaded top and that one's got a smooth top. This project only has a small amount of heat required, like silver soldering. The next project I've got in mind has significantly more, and so I think I'm going to invest in a proper set of silver soldering equipment, or proper propane torch, so I didn't want to buy another stopgap solution for this gas canister here. So this is just gonna sit on the side, presumably forever, uh, unless there's someone else has a great idea about what I can do with it. So let's get on the machine in the crankshaft. While I'm turning the parts for this crankshaft, I thought one thing that might be interesting was just um, getting the measuring the length of this. This needs to be three and five sixteenths of an inch. And um, using the height gauge and an angle block, it's really easy to determine that. So I'm colouring in the end of the uh, of the rod this way. And I think the more astute of you will guess, I'm going to hold this in the V of the angle block and uh, and scribe it through this way. Scribe line that's exactly three inches and five sixteenths from this end. So we are here now where I will be trying to solder with this for the first time. I have a vermiculite block which is good at absorbing heat apparently and I have um, a spare piece of wood to protect my worktop such as it is. Um, I've got some bits to maneuver things around with um, and I've got some Cars Green Flux. This is acidic flux and some uh, regular lead-free solder, soft solder. And over here, I've got some solder paint. So I'm gonna try this first, because this should just be a case of painting it between the two halves, heating it up, and that should be sufficient. Uh, if that fails, then I will go back to using my flux and silver solder. So we now have those aligned um, and with some solder paint in the middle. Now all that remains to do is to clear off the plastic things from this uh, bench here, start up the torch and see what happens. I knew I put it somewhere safe, so safe I couldn't find it.
I think I understand what I did wrong in that silver soldering. It was my mistake to think that solder paint had flux in it. I thought it was in a flux suspension. Clearly it wasn't, because as soon as I added the regular rosin core solder from the reel, uh, it flashed across the joint really quickly. So, future reference, I guess. This is the resultant piece after it's been cleaned up. I didn't get the pieces perfectly aligned and they were slightly skewed. So I done a little bit of filing and sanding just to get them roughly parallel with each other. Clean up the ends. Now I'll be uh, just center popping and drilling a couple of holes. So I'll do that off camera and then I'll join you back with the blowtorch. This is proving to be a little bit of a pig to drill because it's quite narrow. So although it fits in my drilling vise, the, uh, the the recess in the jaws is so, so big that uh, it will then foul the jaws when I try and drill it. Um, on here, it's not tall enough to fit inside these um, toolmakers clamps without support. And I know from experience, if I try and drill that without support, it's just going to pivot at the widest point. So actually I've got um, some quarter square brass underneath to act as a support. And I'm fully expecting this to get destroyed in the process, but for the, you know, it's an inch of brass rod. So I am going to uh, center drill this uh, on both. One of these is going to be 930 seconds and one of them is going to be a quarter inch. Um, I may as well, I've got the reamers, I may as well ream them. Now having drilled the holes oversized, I'm now going to ream them to size using a hand reamer um, in the chuck of the drill press. <laughs> is what the crank webs look like after filing, reaming, and uh, radiusing the edges. Now it's time to disassemble them with the fire. Uneventful, 